Today I'm going to show you how to use your Sumo Art. So first things first, you need to log into your Google Sites account and you need to find your famous person biography. Once you're in there, you're going to go to the commemorative stamp section. In there, I have a link straight to Sumo Paint. But before you click there, make sure you read through steps one through six. Also, these were given to you on a piece of paper for easier reference. First step, it says, is you need to find a picture of your famous person and save it to your desktop or USB drive. So make sure you go online and use one of the approved safe student sites to look for your famous person. Once you have that, now you can go to the next steps. So you're going to click on sumopaint.com slash app. Once it loads, step two tells you to open file from your computer. Now this is going to be the picture that you saved your desktop or your USB from step one. Okay, for this, I chose Steve Jobs as my example. All right, there is Steve Jobs. Now, I chose this picture because I thought he looked really ha happy right here. So first things first, I need to crop this so I just have Steve Jobs' face because remember, I'm making a stamp, and so I just want a picture of his face. So I'm going to use my tools, and I'm going to outline what I want to focus on. And that blue square tells me I want to focus on this. I'm going to go up to image and I'm going to go down to where it says crop. There we go. Now I just have Steve Jobs face. I'd like to work with a little bit of a bigger palette here so I'm just going to expand it like that. Next I need to change some things. I kind of want to change the way it looks. So over on the side here I'm going to look around and it says layers and right now it says normal which is why the picture looks normal, just like I found online. But if I click on it, I actually have a bunch of other options. So I could overlay. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Mm, I could just darken it. I could multiply it. Mm. Ooh, do something like that. It's really your choice, whatever you whatever you like. I kind of like that one. Okay, So the next step is you're going to need to actually make this to look like a stamp. And on one of the steps I said get the circle and <laughs> make the stamp. And you're, what am I doing? So you're going to grab the circle tool and based on the color right now the fill color that I have is red. I don't really want that. I probably want white or something else. There's lots of options here so it's really going to be up to you what you want to do. Okay, so once you have that chosen, I'm going to take my circles and start at the corner here. And if you notice, I'm coming right up to the edge. Oh, I made a mistake. If I make a mistake, you press Command Z and it undoes it for you. So I'm going to do this all the way around my picture and try to get my circles as even as possible. So that way it starts making the shape of what a stamp would look like. So bear with me as I do this and get it as close to perfect as you can but I understand it takes some time and practice to get it really good so mm, oh, that one's gonna work out. Okay. All right. Almost done. Okay, so now it's starting to look more like a stamp. Kind of a fun stamp if that, but definitely a stamp. And please use something different than what I'm doing. I'd love to see your creativity. Next, it says you need to tell me how much your stamp is worth. Remember, your stamp should be worth less than a dollar. So I'm going to use my text box, and I'm going to go to T. And I'm going to say, mm, right about there. Now it turned out really huge. That's not really what I want. I need to make it a little bit smaller because I'm just writing. So I'm going to place this, oh, 
about right here. And if you look up here at the top, it's going to tell you what size, color, and everything. So I'm going to change the color. I'm going to give it a nice red color. And I'm going to make mine worth 45 cents, but that seems far too small for me. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oops, don't forget to highlight it. Mm, there we go. And I'll click on my arrow to bring it back. There's my stamp. Looks pretty good to me. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to need to save it. So I'm going to File, Save to my computer. Steve Jobs, I'm going to save it as a JPEG because it makes it a little bit user friendly with your Google Sites. Press Save and there's mine. Steve Jobs and I'm going to say Stamp 1 because I've made another one in the past. So I'm going to press Save and now it is on my desktop. Okay, so back to what we need to do. I'm going to go back to my <clears throat> back to my famous person biography and now I need to put it inside of there. So the next and final step is you go to your stamp. You're going to use the pencil to edit. And you're going to go to File, Insert an Image, because that's what you have now. And I want to upload some images. And I'm going to do my Steve Jobs stamp one. We'll go with that one for now. That's just another one I did, but it works all the same. And I'm going to click OK, and there he is. I can change him to large, medium, small, where I'd like him placed, and such like that. And when I'm done, don't forget to press Save. And there it is. And you are partially done because Step 6 says, please write a brief description of your stamp as it is as its importance to being released and its release date. If you need an example, please make sure to check out Murphy Brown's commemorative stamp page as well. All right, hope that helps. Have fun and get creative.